You have no idea how iconic that is right there. Why? That TV show, October Road, that I love so much, that they canceled, that ABC got rid of, that I will never be able to let go. Okay. The lead character's name was Nick, and he wrote a book, and guess what the book was called? Turtle on a Drum? A turtle on a Snare Drum. Really? Yes. And oh. you thought I was making fun. You're like, Turtle on a Drum? Hmm. Well, hello everyone, and good morning, camper family. Good morning, camper family. Hi, buddy. He just loves when we sing. Good morning. Turtle on a snare drum. So every couple of days on the channel, like every other day or so, we do our small YouTuber shout out now. And today I'm really excited to shout out to our big gay journey. They get to start IVF finally. Oh, that's awesome. This is a huge deal for them. I actually really like their channel. Um, I wouldn't shout out a channel that I didn't actually check out. I mean, sure, I don't get to watch every single one. I'm not even going to lie about that. But... I love listening to these ladies talk. I really like their accent. Yeah. I know that sounds really stupid to say, but I like it. So anyway, you guys should uh, check them out if you, uh, you know, have an opening in your vlog schedule. I know it's pretty full, you know, watching ours. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, if you are new here, don't forget to check to see if you are um, subscribed to the channel. Why not become a camper? We're fun. You know, we're pretty active on all of our social medias, this we're one. all about tooting your own horn today. Doo -doo. I'm trying to. <laughs> Actually, I'm not really the fun one. It's mostly Carrie and Harrison. Oh my They're the comedians. No. But anyway, if you do uh, want to check out our Big Gay Journey, um, the link's going to be in the description. And then, you know, while you're looking for the link, you might as well hit that subscribe button. So Carrie and I um, thought we would talk real quick about why we didn't do anything for April Fool's. Um... I didn't know that so many people were going to be expecting something because I don't think we did anything last year. Like, we just didn't do right. anything because it's just not our thing to do. Um, I don't remember if we did anything or not. I don't think we did. You know, every once in a while we'll do like a quick little prank, but we're not like a real prank channel. Like, we had prank wars a couple of times. <laughs> oh, he really wants my... Everything that's on my little stand here, all of my cords, everything. But anyway, um, you know, there's not really a lot of things that we could do, especially right now with it being the end of the semester. There was ice on the porch today. I mean, apart from me telling Carrie that it was going to snow for three more days, I mean, I guess maybe now since we have a baby, I don't find as much pleasure in making people feel stupid. Because I'm guilty of that in the past. Like, I, one of the things, I don't wish that I could change this about myself because I know enough that because of who I used to be, that's why I'm here today. Like, I've learned from it, but I used to do things for, like, shock value. And I didn't, I just didn't like that, that part. And every once in a while, I'll still do something really stupid, like, and Carrie will catch me and she'll be like, I told you not to do that. I'm like, you're right, you did. I'm sorry. So that's why we didn't do it. And then, you know, I'm sorry if you guys were like expecting like some big thing. But I mean, to be honest, it's just really not us. It's definitely not. You me. know? Yeah. It's yeah. not you? No. Do you think it'll be Harrison? No. I was watching um, King of the Hill, which I know is not your favorite. But it's, you know, if no one's seen King of the Hill, it's just a old show that used to be on. And John Redcorn was talking about his son, which, you know, okay. Dale thinks is his son. Right. And he was talking about how on April Fool's Day he was going around and doing all these pranks, like unscrewing the lids of salt and pepper shakers. You uh -huh. know, stuff like that. Yeah. Like, I just, I hope that Harrison never wants to do anything He'll like that. Do a couple of things just for laughs, but. Right, like, I mean, I could see, well, like. It's all in good fun and, you know. He does it, and then he doesn't want to do it anymore. Right, like leaving the toilet seat up or down or something like that. Putting saran wrap on it. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of doing like a prank, Carrie and I thought that we could each tell you our worst April Fools, and I don't even know that I've told Carrie this story before either. Do you see Harrison? He's trying to look up at the camera. Hi, bud. He was. Hi, bud. Pointing that thing. Pointing at him. So, um, a long time ago, I think I've mentioned before to you guys how I used to have this, like, really cool bike. Uh, I had the bike for, like, four days. Um, 
but it was like this all white, beautiful, like mongoose bike. And back in the day, you know, mongoose was the bike that you wanted to have. And when I say all white, you couldn't even see the spokes in the tire because it had this like white, like shell that was covering the spokes. It was literally all white. Um, so my cousin thought he would play a trick on me and hide the bike and tell me it was stolen. Now this bike, I mean, I would put it away in our garage and I would put my lock on it and I would like lock it to like the workbench. So I mean like I don't even know how he got it out. Like I don't, I never gave anyone the combination. But I guess he ended up going into the garage, unlocking my bike and putting it in the neighbor's yard. So that way when I got up and went outside to get on my bike... Uh, my bike would be gone and I would freak out. So, of course, I go outside, go get on my bike, it's not there. And instead of freaking out, I start crying and I'm running in the house to go call the police because I'm like, someone, not only did someone steal my bike, but someone broke into our garage and, like, they stole my bike. So, like, they obviously broke into the garage, too. I didn't even know my family was over. I didn't know any of that. So... All of a sudden, like, I'm getting ready to grab the phone, and they're like, what are you doing? I have to call 911. Somebody stole my bike. They broke into the garage. We've been robbed. So my cousin is laughing, and he's like, ha, ha, ha. I moved your bike. It's over at the neighbor's house. We go over there. The bike was gone. Someone stole my bike oh, okay. from the neighbor's yard where he put it. He That's said he terrible. put it behind the tree, and he did it, and it was out there for like How 20 big minutes. How was the tree? I mean, big enough that the bike, you could see the bike. Right, exactly. So, yeah, he just hid it there thinking that I might not notice. I was the only one on my street to have this bike. Of course I was going to notice. Wow. I don't know how I'm, I'm, clearly I didn't see it because when I was running back in the house, mm -hmm. you know, the bike was gone because it wasn't there, and I didn't see it. So, I was like super upset. I would be devastated. I, I was. Mongoose I bikes weren't cheap. That your cousin or someone paid you back for that bike. Well, the bike was a gift from my parents, you know, for doing like good in school or whatever. Well, okay, so. I didn't end up getting that bike because it wasn't like a bike that you could get. Really? Like all the time. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying it was a limited edition bike, but I just think they were all gone. Because I never got that bike again. I was, like, super sad, you guys, because I, I always lived in the city. So, like, the dream of having a pony, you know, like, that never really appealed to me. Because where the heck was I going to keep a pony? Um, mm. I also used to think ponies were baby horses, but that's for another story. Um, but, yeah, that was, like, a horrible, horrible April Fool's because... He tried to fool me, but then, like an idiot, he stole my bike. And, you know, I don't really get along with this cousin. I wonder if he actually just stole my bike and told me that he hid it behind a tree. Look oh, my right gosh. Now. that He could have stolen my bike. And until just now, I didn't even put two and two together. Wow. Oh, my gosh. So, what's yours? All right, let's hear it. So, my dad woke me up one morning for school, and he said, school's been canceled. <laughs> and then he said April Fools. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. That's your worst April Fools? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's my only one. Oh man. I don't come from a pranking family. That's okay. I mean, I'm not making fun of you. That's I just like <laughs> I lose a bike and your dad wakes you up and tells you there's no school. I guess I could see how that would be really traumatic though for it you. Would be devastating, right? Right. You're like you get walking up. Hey, just so you know there's no school today. April Fools. What? <laughs> I remember when our school first got that 1-800 number that you could call to see if your school was canceled. And the what? Yeah, it was like a long time ago. I don't even think they do it anymore. This is back when I was a kid. Um, and they canceled school. And he just, any chance he gets, he tries to go get those cords. Yeah, no. And they ended up canceling school. And I didn't find out until like 5.30. So like every time I woke up to go to the bathroom all through the night, I would call the number. Uh -huh. And then I find out at 5.30 and I was so excited that school was canceled that I took a shower and I didn't end up going back to sleep. I just stayed up. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. 
We just had to watch the news and wait for our school to, to scroll, scroll across. Yeah. Oh, he is but... going. Woo! He loves the water bottle and he still, still loves the Roomba. He will follow that thing um, all across. But anyway, you guys, I know it's kind of a short video, but we have one more little clip we're going to pop in here. So please enjoy. What did you just do? You see I climbed the stairs by myself? You're too little for that. But he did it anyways. So of course he crawls up the stairs at your parents' house when mm -hmm. I'm not there. Because I was doing homework. What would you think about those steps, big guy? So did he just walk over to him like they were like his steps? He crawled over to him, yeah. Oh and my then, goodness. Um, he stood there. And to be honest, I helped him up one. Mm -hmm. earlier and then he was not interested anymore so then later on he crawled over there and he actually got himself up so, so you want to say goodbye say hey everyone um sorry we got to end this but he needs to take a bath and we just got him to calm down so say Hi. hey everyone thanks for hanging out with us today and thank you for sharing us with your friends and we'll catch you on the flippity <laughs> It's, it's the end screen! Yay! Today's shout out goes to... And if you missed yesterday's video, look right there. And if you want to subscribe, look right up there. <laughs> By the way, Carrie, I really like your shirt. I like your shirt too. Where'd you get it? Currently, our shirts are available at our Teespring store. Go check it out. Thanks, guys. <laughs>